Okay, in this lesson we're going to create um, some detailing. The first thing I want to do is create a 3D plane, which I drag out. Square 3D plane, and I want to go into geometry, and I want to obviously I want to go into edit mode first, and then make the poly mesh 3D. I want to turn off smooth so that the corners don't get smoothed out as they subdivide and I want to divide this up to about 5 give us some good detail there now I'm going to go in and use my transform tools to create some radials on the z-axis and I'm going to crank this up to about 75 76 something like that I'm going to decrease my brush size and I'm just going to create a kind of rivet so what I'm doing is I'm just going to drag along and that'll form the first part in the middle I'm going to press control and I'm just going to sort of shift drag this in, actually that's a bit big we just pull it out this way okay that's quite nice and now I'm going to go to my deformation and I'm just going to inflate it by about 14 so I might inflate a bit more let's do 14 again and now I'm also going to do a little bit of smooth on this so I'm going to smooth it for about 4 and now I'm just going to check it it's quite good ok I'm going to turn my mask off so that's a kind of rivet point in there. Or we might want to screw we might want a screw point in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my masking again and I'm going to use a rectangle. I'm going to turn off my radial, turn on my X and actually I'm going to turn on my Y as well this will center it nicely that's not bad let's do it again yep and I'll do this side as well like that obviously inverse it and this time set a negative value of about 14 that will push it in might actually go a little bit more than that minus 20 let's push it right in and let's add some smooth to this smooth of about 6 should do the job So I can use my smooth brush here just to come in and take these corners down a little bit. That's quite nice. Have a look at him. Yeah, that's good. So, so I'm happy with that as a brush. I can now lock it in the upright, come to documents and turn off pro and we want to set this at 500 and also 500 on the height because we want it to be square because it's going to be converted into an alpha now we could make this bigger but it slows the bigger you go with these document sizes and creating these alphas this will be a 500 by 500 pixel alpha the bigger you go the slower the system will take to to render these out so you can put more detail and make it bigger if you only got something of very small detail then you might want to do it 256 by 256 but stick to those kind of those kind of numbers 250 by 250 okay then we hit resize and it says yes and we will resize that now that's appeared because it's dropped it to the canvas kind of 2.5 pixels so I want to clear it so I'm pressing control N to clear it I've already got my tool selected so I can drag this out 
hold the shift key to shift shift it into the right size and I want to just move this now if I go into edit zoom him so that he's just in there and what I'm looking for is for it just to be inside here because otherwise I'm going to get clipping around the edge so leave a little bit of room once you're happy with that then you can just go into alpha and grab it as a document and now I'm going to set this up as a brush so I'm going to use drag rectangle um, actually I'm going to use drag spot I'm going to leave this as the current brush and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a clone now it's created a clone of that brush now I can come down here and I can save this brush so I'm going to save as and it's gone into my Pixelogic ZBrush for startup brush presets button so remember where that is and I'm going to put that in there as screw I one and save that and now that's basically how to create a brush and have that applied to the model so make as many of these as you like you can use different angles just make sure it's all kept in the square and then grab the dock and then save it out I'll show you actually working so if I go now to create I have to change this document size I'll double it up so it's a bit bigger I'll go to a Z sphere now which I'll drag onto the document and see it's just covered what was there before because it dropped it to canvas I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to make polymesh 3D and I'm going to divide this up a few times and now I'm going to grab that screw that we had and now there it is now there are a few little bits we just need to correct with this if we go into alpha and we go into the RF radial we'll just set this to about three and then test it as you can see it's taken away this outline and we can drag and move the intensity up and there you go that will work just fine for this kind of detail I might want to come down a little bit actually with the radial it's a little bit too much let's put it to one that's a bit better okay so these are resolution resolution dependent obviously if you had it down at, at number two and then you drew on it there would be nothing there because it needs the the resolution to be able to draw nicely onto the model but it's great playing around with these things if I go and load I've got some other brushes that I've got in here I've got um, this one it's quite cool I've put him on drag select so I can drag him out um, there's load brush let's choose it rivet this rivet so it's another type of rivet so you might want to do little ports where maybe uh, computers are plugged into on the model those sort of things so create as many brushes as you like and save them all in the same place so you want to go to programs, uh, Pixelogica, ZBrush 4, Startup, Brush Presets and just drop them in there and we can basically grab them like this and just load them all in in one hit. Okay right I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll add this detail to the model and I don't know if the model's going to be able to hold this kind of detail on it I think it will in some places but not in others so we might use HD geometry to uh,
divide the model up into billions of uh, polygons to be able to put that detail in.